Hey guys, I'm back with another candle review, and this time around for the 14.5 ounce 3-wick freshly brewed coffee candle from Bath & Body Works. The description on the bottom of the candle says, enjoy the room-filling aroma of fresh coffee beans as you pour yourself a cup of ambition. But the notes online say fresh coffee, coffee beans and steamed milk. So yes, this is a very highly contested and debated uh, candle in the candle community uh, because it's like, is it a repackage of Paris Cafe or not? I have burned it, I think, three or four times at this point, and so we'll get right into it. So yeah, this is still, I think, very, very immensely similar to Paris Cafe. I mean, they're both still very similar coffee fragrances. To, to say that they're like completely not similar, I think is a little bit of a stretch from my opinion, but I do feel like uh, there's maybe slight differences between the two candles, especially when you go to burn it. And so I think what freshly brewed coffee is, is just like a purposeful and conscious like reformulation of Paris Cafe to make it a little bit more subtle and lighter and quite not quite as harsh, I guess, as Paris Cafe is. Paris Cafe is a very explosive fragrance. Like it's to the point where like, like if you have the lid like even on it and in your like candle closet, the entire candle closet will smell like Paris Cafe. Warehouse workers have said that when they pour Paris Cafe for the day, like they smell smell like it for like days afterwards, and it's a really intense fragrance. And I think with Paris Cafe, at least with my experience with other coffee fragrance oils, is kind of like even if you uh, like do a lower fragrance load of such a strong fragrance like it's still so immensely strong that you can only do so much in terms of like watering down the fragrance or making it a little bit more palatable or lighter uh so I think what they did was they kind of like went to the perfumers this is obviously very much a theory and just pure speculation but it was just kind of like okay Paris Cafe used to be popular but maybe we've gotten a lot of complaints that it's too strong or too intense uh you'd be surprised at how many people actually say like Bath and Body Works candles are too strong or they want something a little bit more lighter or their nose is very sensitive or, you know, whatever the reason is, there's actually, believe it or not, people who are different from us who don't want a 10 out of 10 throw, like explosive throw that's going to assault your nostrils 24-7. There are people who actually want a lighter fragrance. So I think this might have been like an actual response to uh, the fact that Pierce Cafe may be a little bit too intense or too strong to the point where like you don't even have to light it and you can smell it. So with that said, they are similar, but I think they're just like, I think Paris Cafe was so popular, but maybe it fell out of popularity because they've been releasing it a little bit more sporadically and infrequently that they were like, let's try to revisit a coffee fragrance that's similar to Paris Cafe, uh, but just kind of tones it down and makes it a little less harsh or intense as Paris Cafe. And I think the result of that is freshly brewed coffee. And so no, I don't think it's exactly the same fragrance oil as Paris Cafe, but it's something that's kind of like an alternative to, I guess, what Paris Cafe offers. So with that said, it still smells like coffee and it still smells very similar to Paris Cafe, but you don't quite get that intense, almost like, um, it like kind of can make you like sort of gag out by that sort of like brioche and vanilla note that's in Paris Cafe that's like really strong and intense mixed with that super bold roasty burnt coffee bean note. Like when you mix all those together, it's very strong to the point that it can actually kind of make you feel sort of ill. And this kind of alleviates that like gag inducing illness that you get from Paris Cafe in the sense that it's a little bit more mellow and they just kind of like tone down everything about Paris Cafe to give you a version that's a little bit more palatable and uh, not so, uh, yeah, it just doesn't have that super just intense edge that Paris Cafe has. But it's still very similar and a very similar coffee bean note, but it's just less roasty. Uh, there's still a little bit of sweetness in here. It's not just like, I mean, if you ever just like brewed actual coffee that's not sweetened, it's very bitter. Uh, and this still has a little bit of sweetness and creaminess that makes it, it says it has steamed milk in it. So there's still a little bit of sweetness and creaminess in this that makes it just like kind of like the sweetened, uh, like nice version of coffee that you expect from a candle. Uh, maybe even a little bit of like a chocolatey note, in, chocolatey note in the background as well. But yeah, I think it's just basically Pierce Cafe that's been uh, like purposefully uh, watered down, made a little bit more palatable and a little bit just like smoother and not so harshly intense in that very roasty toasted brioche plus like vanilla all that mixed together that makes Pierce Cafe very intense uh, is kind of rounded out and made a little bit more uh, palatable in this version. And I think that's kind of what the difference is between this and Paris Cafe. Long story short, if you're just looking for a palatable sort of coffee with a little bit of a creamy, sweet action fragrance, freshly brewed coffee is it. It is quite, uh, I'm, I don't, I guess it's authentic enough. It's definitely more so a distinctly coffee fragrance versus like the imitation coffee that you get from like whip coffee or the, you know, the white caramel cold brew where that kind of smells like you've spilled like fake uh, International Delights uh, like knockoff coffee on the counter and you wiped it up with a paper towel and you smell the residual after that. This is, no, definitely much more like that 
like actual coffee beans, sort of brewing coffee type of realistic as you can get in like home fragrance type of coffee fragrance. So yeah. Moving on to the performance, this one has like really dark, deep brown wax. And so to, I guess, compensate for that, of course, it has massive thick rope like wicks that's so like crazy. Oh my God, this does get very sooty, uh, like just even within like the first to second hour. So definitely keep on trimming on this one. I trim this to like amounts where I think it's going to like lop off the wick too much and it's probably going to drown. But then we're, you know, faced with a performance that looks just like this, where it's like very hot and vicious with flames that are indeed setting. So you have to de definitely keep on top of the candle on this one. Uh, as for the throw, uh, whereas like Paris Cafe, the original like very early formulations for the first few years, like when it was like campsite coffee and intense coffee and you know, all those variations, that was like a 10 out of 10 throw, like the strongest candle you could ever, ever get from BBW. But the like version that I got from Candle Day that was in like the brown core jar uh, was a slightly lighter version of that. And I think that was probably intentional. And that was more down to like a seven, but still strong. I would say this is more in like a five to a six range. Um, I would say even maybe down to a four in a like open concept, really large living room, uh, but just very medium, which I guess if you were a huge fan of Paris Cafe and you love how explosive and strong and like nostril assaulting that was, you might be disappointed that this one is indeed lighter than Paris Cafe. But if you find that one to be too strong or too intense, this one I can kind of keep going for a while and not feel nauseous like I do with Paris Cafe. Uh, so it's more like in the medium range rather than the 10 out of 10 range. So that's the sort of throw and performance on this. Overall, if you want like a Paris Cafe light version, kind of like how Mahogany Teakwood is high intensity and Paris Cafe is high intensity, this is like the non-high intensity version of the candle. It's still a very similar coffee fragrance. Uh, but yeah, I think I've kind of exhausted my thoughts on this. So let me know your comments down below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.